World leaders were certainly caught off guard by the president's closing remarks. And while his speech earned mixed reviews, even from some allies, some are concerned Mr. Biden's rhetoric could potentially add more fuel to the fire. President Biden is back in Washington after a three-day European trip to rally support from the West for Ukraine. But the talk today is of the off-script comments Mr. Biden had at the end of his address in Poland, seemingly calling for Russian President Vladimir Putin to be removed from office. For God's sake, this man cannot remain power. The White House immediately clarified that message, insisting the president wasn't talking about regime change, instead saying Putin cannot be allowed to exercise power over his neighbors or the region. We do not have a strategy of regime change in Russia or anywhere else for that matter. Critics at home, including Idaho Republican Senator Jim Risch, called the remarks a, quote, horrendous gaffe. I wish he would stay on script. This administration has done everything they can to stop escalating. There's not a whole lot more you can do to escalate than to call for regime change. And abroad, allies are distancing themselves from the comments. Including French President Emmanuel Macron, who still communicates with Putin, who warned against a verbal escalation with Moscow, calling the strategy counterproductive. Russian officials charge back that it is not up to President Biden to decide who will remain in power in Russia. Secretary Blinken also said today the U.S. is set on maintaining strong support for Ukraine in the face of war as Western leaders continue to try to focus on putting more economic pressure on Russia. Jerika. Skyler Henry Forrest at the White House. Thank you.